So a number of videos back, I put together this polishing wheel using a sump pump motor and uh, made the stand for it also here. Uh, today I put a piece of uh, heater hose around the bottom of that rim because it would kind of vibrate that uh, steel rim on the concrete and it was a, made a bit of a racket. So that uh, helps to make it quiet. But I want to do a bit of aluminum polishing experimenting here for you guys today. And uh, I've got kind of an aggressive polishing wheel on here right now. So I'll have to put a softer one on there. And that's the polishing compound I'm going to be using. So here's a piece of aluminum channel that I want to work with today. I'm going to do some sanding on it and some polishing experimenting. So what happens if I don't sand this prior to polishing? And you can see all the little fine lines on the surface from the uh, manufacturing process when they were working with the aluminum. So I'm going to have a spot on here where I don't sand it at all. And then I'm going to have an area where I uh, sand it with uh, some 320. And then uh, I'll have another area where after the 320 I'll also sand it with uh, 400. And then after that I'll have an area where it also gets sanded with 600. So I'll have different areas of uh, prep and then I'm going to compare them all and I'll polish them all the same. You know, they all get prepped different but the polishing I'll treat it all the same and then we're going to see what kind of a difference it all makes here. So the first part here doesn't get any sanding. I'm just going to cover it up with some tape. Okay, I think I said 320 before. I actually have 220 wet paper at home here. So that's what I have. That's what I'm going to use. It's actually a little on the aggressive side. But you know when that uh, polishing wheel starts going, the wheel itself removes just a little bit of aluminum as it uh, polishes. So my goal right now is just to knock down all of those manufacturing little grooves and uh, Kind of looks like scratches in there, so I want to get rid of all of that. And this paper should do a good job of it. So here you can already see the difference. The part that was under the masking tape still has the little grooves in it. And then off to the right here it's getting a lot smoother. So, and uh, for reference later, I put these little marks in here with a center punch. And now I'm going to put another strip of tape right here and cover up this part and then continue my way on with a finer sandpaper. So, so far I've only spent about maybe three minutes on this piece here with the uh, 220. So up next is 400. See also as I sand, the sandpaper kind of wears out and what starts off as 400 wet is actually kind of a, a little bit finer than that later because the uh, paper is not as aggressive the more it's used. So I know on my bike I went down to 500 wet and I had pretty good results with the polish on that project and you know I could go all the way down to you know even a thousand wet you know but at what point is it a waste of time sanding and uh, you guys should just start going with the polishing already you know what I mean. So that's kind of what these experiments here are about. What kind of results do you get with the different stages of sanding? So what's happening here is the sanding is actually being compounded. So this is 220 and this is 220 and 400 and this is 220, 400 and 600 in this area here. So ready to polish. So I'm going to apply some of this polishing compound to the wheel now.
so you can see it's starting to come around already. It's a brand new uh, polishing wheel, so I'm going to put a bit more compound on there. Not much material there, you know. So I've got maybe five minutes of polishing into this piece now and you can still see the little punch marks that I made to identify where the different sanding occurred. So the one right here too. So this portion of the uh, aluminum didn't get any sanding at all and I can definitely tell that down there it's just not as smooth as the rest of it. So I was telling you guys before that polishing itself can remove a little bit of the aluminum and here at this end where I didn't sand you can see some of those marks are still in the aluminum there but they are not as aggressive so they have actually been flattened down some by the uh, polishing so here all it got was the 220 and then here it got the 220 and the uh, 400 and it, the biggest difference was just sanding that was a uh, a big plus but after that you know more and more and more sanding it becomes less and less noticeable so I was kind of curious what would happen here I just figured I'd show you guys this and uh, I appreciate you guys come and check this out you guys are awesome don't forget that 